this is Noah with Save Green here again and I'm a little intrigued since we got our power meter what a coffee maker or coffee brewer actually consumes in power now I personally love my coffee maker it's the Hamilton Beach coffee maker and what I love about it is you have your conventional coffee pot here and then you have your k-cup right on the right so you can basically just put in your k-cup in there or do your k-cup brew and just switch it over to this side and hit brew and it'll do your k-cup right here and then you switch back this way and you got your traditional conventional coffee maker which is what I personally like to use every morning I do a few cups of coffee in there but if you're on the go you can just switch it over put your k-cup in there and you're good to go it'll even tell you exactly how it works right here but uh, this is what I like about it it's uh, probably around sixty seventy dollars it's uh, Hamilton Beach and it works great but I want to see how much power it's actually consuming so I put my power meter in there <clears throat> and if you remember from the other day we were testing the uh, space heater in the room and there is still there 3.75 kilowatt hours for four hours and 28 minutes of runtime but it does have a little reset button here and you can see that there and what I'll do is I'll push it in there with a little pencil and it should reset it back to zero there we go and now it's reading watts I'm gonna bring it over to kilowatt hours and I'm gonna turn on my coffee maker and see how much juice it's actually using probably in about 45 minutes of time and see if this is really detrimental to my power bill and then I'll post the uh, results for everyone to see thank you for watching we'll be back in about 45 minutes okay everyone so we're back 45 minutes later coffee maker still on and <clears throat> over here we see that it actually has ran for just a little bit over 10 minutes you can see that there are 10 minutes or so and 10 minutes and 9 seconds and the consumption is 0 0.14 kilowatt hours so at a cost of 12 cents per kilowatt hour uh, this coffee maker for about 45 minutes only uses about a penny so if you're looking out there for a coffee maker that is energy efficient i would say this one would fit the description one penny of power in about 45 minutes now just because it, it was plugged in and on for 45 minutes doesn't mean it's going to use or it's going to run the whole 45 minutes you can see here that it's ran about 10 minutes or so and that's because it runs the most when it's brewing the coffee and then all it does is it runs on a thermostat to keep the bottom plate warm just to keep the coffee in there hot and that's about it so it doesn't use a whole lot of power because that bottom plates not running all the time but you can see the kilowatt hour consumption there and then with this uh, power meter you can also flip between uh, volts 118 volts you can flip between amps and then if you see the low here that's the lowest amount of watts it used highest amount of watts was 903 and then you can also set your cost per kilowatt hour if you want and then we're back to our kilowatt hour consumption which is 0.14 for uh, 45 minutes that it's been running so hope you enjoyed the video I'll put a description if you're interested in knowing uh, more about the power meter and about the coffee maker we really like it and just because it has a dual function between regular coffee maker and a k-cup without having to have two machines this is one machine uh, two machines into one so thank you for watching this is Noah with save green here